so today we will have a look uh, about uh, what are cytokines because uh, when you study pathology all the way you have to study cytokines general properties of cytokines role of various cytokines in inflammation and uh, the most important cytokines are interleukins and chemokine and uh, whenever you go for your research you must have a background about interleukins and chemokines and at last we will have a look on applied aspects of cytokines so cytokines uh, is a combination of two greek words the first word is cyto which means cell and kinos kinos means movement so cytokines means movement of cells means some either a substance will move out of the cells so cytokines are low molecular weight regulatory proteins or glycoproteins and they are secreted by white blood cells and various other cells in the body in response to a number of stimuli so you remember from where the cytokines are released cytokines are released from white blood cells mainly by activated lymphocytes macrophages and dendritic cells but cytokines can also be released from endothelial cells epithelial cells and connective tissue cells and what they are doing they mediate inflammatory and immune reactions so this slide will show you different types of cytokine basically cytokine is a broad term that can be used for different molecules right as we discussed in the previous slide see cytokines are low molecular weight proteins so there are different types of proteins with different names right and there may be a little bit difference and difference in the pathways and functions of cytokines so this is a broad term so uh, the most important uh, cytokine is interleukin interleukins are produced by one leukocyte and act on another leukocytes the other uh, cytokine is lymphokine lymphokine is produced by lymphocytes as i tell you that this is a brief introduction about cytokines so of course i will not go in detail to make this video very short so the other type of cytokine is monokine monokines are produced by monocytes another type of cytokine is chemokine cytokines which are having chemotactic activities means they are attracted due to the chemical response so they are, they have a chemotactic activity chemokines and chemokines are cytokines another type of cytokine is interferon interferon's uh, name is very common you have listened many times uh, in your career whenever you study biology or medical so it is involved in the antiviral responses interferon always remember because it belong to the inflammation so it is uh, basically related to antiviral responses and finally we have colony stimulating factors oh my god there is a long list of stimulating colony stimulating factors and they support the growth of blood cells basically uh, there are, now come to the another property of cytokine cascade induction you know one cytokine stimulate its target cell to make additional cytokine another function of cytokine is synergy that is combination of cytokines produce a combined effect which is greater than the sum of their separate effect it is similar i can give you a very simple example from the real life for example it is uh, uh, it is uh, the summer season and you are sitting in a fan but it is very hot what you will do you can switch on your air condition along with the fan so you will have combined effect which is, which will be greater than the single effect of the fan similarly when you have more than one type of cytokine the effect will be combined and the final result will be more exaggeration this is this effect is called synergy <coughs> so up till now we have studied about paleotropic that is different cell type can secrete the same cytokine or single cytokine can act on several different types of cells 
The another property is redundancy that is similar function can be stimulated by different cytokines. Cascade induction that is one cytokine can stimulate a target cell to make more and more cytokine. And another one is synergy. Synergy means combine, combination of cytokine produce a combined effect which is greater than the sum of their separate effects. And finally we have antagonism. That is, two cytokines can have opposite action. Antagonistic effects you must have studied many times in your uh, first year. So, antagonism is a normal thing. Now, come to interleukins. The first uh, and the most important interleukins cytokines uh, are interleukins. Now, the question arises why interleukins and chemokines are more important than other types of interleukins. So basically, this is because of malignancy, its role in malignancy or its role in tumor and cancer. So that is why uh, the more and more research has been conducted on interleukins because to discover new drugs to prevent cancer. So interleukins mediate the leukocyte crosstalk, right? Leukocytes, leukins, so they can increase um, uh, the crosstalk between the leukocyte cells. Up to 38 interleukins have been so far identified. It is a huge number. 38 interleukins means it, 38 interleukins have different function. If, the, if, it, if they are performing the same function, uh, maybe it can have some type A, B, C like this. But uh, basically 38 interleukins are, uh, are identified. And they are num numbered according to the order of discovery. And of course, they are, their protein shape can be different. That is why uh, they are different from each other. They are involved in the pathogenesis of human inflammatory or autoimmune diseases. So there is some difference in the human inflammation and the autoimmune diseases. So we will study later on. Interleukins and other cytokines which have a significant role in acute inflammation are the most important interleukins and, uh, uh, along with other types of cytokines which are more important in the acute inflammation are interleukin 1, interleukin 6, interleukin 17, tumor necrosis factor alpha and chemokines. These are the most important cytokines. So next time when you hear the word interleukin, you must remember this is the type of cytokine. And whenever you hear the term cytokine, you must have idea that it can, it is a generalized term that can be used for different types of proteins and molecules that play an important role in the inflammation or autoimmune diseases. The two most important cells which are source of most of the cytokines I am not talking about only interleukin, but overall cytokines. Right? The most important cells which produce cytokines are macrophages and T lymphocytes. So uh, the macrophage, macrophages mostly produce interleukin 1 and interleukin 6 and tumor necrosis factor alpha. And T lymphocytes produce interleukin 17 and tumor necrosis factor beta. So here you must remember macrophages produce 1 IL-6 one IL and TNF-alpha and T lymphocytes are producing interleukin-17 and TNF-beta. Now come to some brief introduction uh, about the function and release. First of all interleukin-1 from where the interleukin 1 comes we studied in the previous slide yes macrophages so macrophages fibroblast endothelial cells and few epithelial cells macrophages fibroblast endothelial cells and few epithelial cells they produce interleukin 1 what the interleukin 1 do it is stimulate the expression of endothelial adhesion molecules and immigration of neutrophils and macrophages and secretion of other cytokines and it also produce 
increases the body temperature which is fever another type of interleukin is interleukin 6 which is of, again produced by macrophages fibroblast endothelial cells and a few epithelial cells so before you go to study about uh, cytokines chemokines interleukins blah 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 you must know different uh, types of cells blood cells so that you can have idea okay what they are and what the what the function of the cells right so of course there must be a specific function that is why they are producing interleukins and macrophages uh, are mostly responsible for inflammation so that is why they are producing inflammatory substances interleukins so what is the function of interleukin 6 the broad function uh, they produce systematic response production of acute phase reactant from liver production of acute phase reactant means they are responsible to produce they act on the liver cells and produce some reactant uh, proteins particularly important in inducing beta cell to differentiate b cell sorry b cells to differentiate into antibody producing cells that is plasma cells again what the interleukin 6 do interleukin 6 uh, basically produce systematic response and produce uh, acute phase reactant from the liver that is some substances from the liver particularly important in b cells to differentiate into antibody producing cells initially b cells are not activated so they can go and activate the b cells to convert into antibody producing cells that is plasma cells and always remember antibody producing cells are the plasma cells now come to interleukin now come to interleukin uh, 17 and uh, this is produced by t lymphocytes as we already discussed what is the role of interleukin 17 recruitment of neutrophils that is they select the neutrophils and monocytes t lymphocytes do recruitment of neutrophils and monocytes t lymphocytes uh, uh, sorry interleukins when secreted from the T lymphocytes uh, they are responsible to the secretion of other cytokines like interleukin 6 GCSF yani colony different types of colony stimulating factors interleukin 1 beta tumor necrosis factor alpha and chemokines now come to the tumor necrosis factor alpha it is uh, again uh, produced by macrophage cells fibroblast endothelial cells and few epithelial cells so what we see interleukin 1 interleukin 6 and tumor necrosis alpha released from the macrophages now tumor necrosis factor alpha stimulate the expression of endothelial adhesion molecules you must know endothelial adhesion molecules uh, are the molecules that play a role in adhesion then uh, they also play a role in the immigration of neutrophils and macrophages and secretion of other cytokines and they also cause fever regulate energy balance by promoting lipid and protein catabolism by suppressing appetite and tumor necrosis factor beta they produce uh, cellular toxicity development of the spleen and lymph nodes and uh, not much role in acute inflammation so basically we mostly study about uh, interleukin alpha and different types of chemokines are there and they are produced by macrophages cells and endothelial cells family of small 8 to 10 kilodalton proteins act as chemo attractant for leukocytes they bind to seven transmembrane g protein couple receptors and they direct the movement of circulating leukocytes to the site of inflammation and injury so basically <coughs> they serve as a chemo attractant for example if a foreign body enter for example in the bacteria enter into your body so these chemokines they are the proteins they, they serve as chemo attractant right so for the foreign uh, body proteins which is uh, different from uh, the human cells these chemokines will be attracted 
because of uh, their shape their protein texture and other factors so they may be attracted over there and when they go there leukocytes in turn come over there so in this way it will attract the leukocytes and you know leukocytes go to the site of inflammation and injury and act accordingly apart from their role in inflammation some chemokines organize various cell types in different anatomic region of the tissues or the organs t and b lymphocytes is discrete in discrete areas of the spleen and lymph nodes so they they are uh, basically discrete uh, into the spleen and lymph nodes because of the uh, function of the chemokines some chemokines are responsible for the arrangement of t cells and b cells into the spleen and lymph nodes and these are called homeostatic chemokines so if you have a question what is uh, hemostatic chemokine so you remember that these type of chemokines uh, and uh, in the case of inflammation uh, they can organize the, the positions of t and b lymphocytes t and b lymphocytes into the spleen and lymph nodes that is why they are hemostatic chemokines uh, come to the other type of cytokines interleukin 12 interleukin 17 interleukin gamma they are involved in chronic inflammation chronic inflammation for example interferon interferon are involved in the antiviral responses these days you know covid is uh, so popular so you must know about interferon uh, how they are producing response against the viral and then come to the colony stimulating factor colony stimulating factor is uh, another type of cytokine and they support the growth of the blood cells now what is inflammation inflammation of it is a double a sword inhibiting cytokine can prevent some harmful effect of inflammation and immune just reactions interest uh, leukin 6 receptor antagonists are used in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis i am not going in detail of these diseases and but you remember that these are inflammatory diseases inflammatory responses in the body and uh, we have to use some antagonist drugs uh, some molecules that are working against these receptors so that interleukin will not bind uh, on the receptor so that uh, inflammation can be reduced so in case of interleukin 17 antagonists are very effective in cirrhosis and other inflammatory diseases so you can say interleukin 6 has a great role in rheumatoid arthritis interleukin 17 has a great role in cirrhosis and inflammatory diseases mm -hmm interferons used in the treatment of viral diseases so anything any drug which is going against some molecule that is the target uh, receptors these types of uh, therapies are very common and uh, important so that you can re reduce the inflammatory reactions otherwise uh, some inflammatory reactions are so dangerous that it can lead to the death so what you learn today you learn the basic idea about uh, cytokine like me I, I before uh, starting my coursework i have no idea what is cytokine so many of you don't know the word cytokines cytokines uh, you know what are the cytokines general properties of cytokines role of various cytokine and in inflammation and uh, particularly we study only about uh, interleukins and chemokines not much about other types of cytokines but uh, this is what the summary and uh, the basic aspect uh, uh, applied aspects uh, in different types of diseases thank you so much uh, uh, here we will end our session i hope uh, you will like this video if you like my video i will suggest you to subscribe for the future videos thank you so much good luck bye bye